When you're trying to type in a small space or move a small object, one helpful tip is to zoom in on the slideshow. And once you have either typed what you're going to be typing or moved whatever image you're going to be moving, you can then zoom back out to fit the screen with the slide. We're going to start by looking at a decimal division problem using visual models. The first problem we're going to look at divides our number into tenths. We have four squares on our slide. Each one represents a hole, and each hole is split into ten columns. Each column is worth one-tenth of the hole. So to show two and eight-tenths, we're going to fill in two whole boxes and eight-tenths of the third box. The quickest way to do this is to drag one of the colored rods from the side and drag the edge of it so that it covers the whole thing. Now that you have your 2 and 8 tenths, we have to split it into groups of 4 tenths. To do that, we're going to take another color to show a set of 4 tenths. We're going to leave the first 4 tenths of the top left hole alone, and then we're going to shade the next 4 tenths in with the pink. It's going to turn orange because the two colors are blending together. Then we're going to keep going until we have split all of the yellow area into groups of four tenths. When you're finished, you want to count up how many groups of four tenths you have. And that is your answer to two and eight tenths divided by four tenths, which is seven. The next visual model divides hundredths by hundredths, so we need to have a hundredths grid to show this. We're going to start with our dividend and shade in 54 hundredths using one of the colors on the side. I'm going to use the yellow rod to shade in 50 of the 54 hundredths by dragging it across five of the columns. And then I need to take the yellow square to show four extra hundredths since it is less than an entire column. Now that we have our 54 hundredths, we need to separate this into groups of 9 hundredths. You can either go vertically or horizontally to shade in the 9 hundredths, and you can also alternate colors using all of the colors on the side. We're going to continue to shade in groups of 9 hundredths until we have split up the entire yellow area of the 54 hundredths into individual groups. Finally, we're going to count up how many groups we were able to create of 9 hundredths. And because we were able to create 6 groups of 9 hundredths, our final answer for 54 hundredths divided by 9 hundredths equals 6.